Good day, everybody, and welcome to the Bachelor of Business Sports Management presentation today here at the ICMS Open Day 2021. My name is Phil Watson, and I'm really privileged to join you today with two fantastic guest speakers uh, sitting here alongside me virtually. Um, I'd like to introduce both of our speakers this morning. Um, firstly, we have Dr. Trevor Clark, who's our Dean of Undergraduate Studies here at ICMS. Um, <clears throat> he has built a career around his sport, uh, passion for sports, sorry, um, and importantly, that has seen him uh, achieve uh, honours, masters and doctoral degrees uh, with majors in exercise psychology, uh, physiology, sorry, sports psychology and public health. Dr. Clark uh, is not only an academic leader, uh, he's also an elite athlete uh, in his own right, which I'm sure he's proud to say. Um, and he has played uh, over 275 games of professional rugby league uh, in England uh, for Leeds, Featherstone and Bradford, uh, which is an achievement uh, in itself. So congratulations, Dr. Clark. Um, he has also coached and led high performance programs in both the NRL and rugby union in the MPC. Um, importantly for him, uh, not so much for us last night, he's a proud Kiwi. Uh, by, by trade, by heritage, um, and originally he's from Hamilton. So uh, congratulations on the Buddha's low result last night. Um, and we're very excited to have you uh, here today with us, Dr. Clark. So welcome and thank you for joining us. Thanks, Phil. What a fantastic opening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, well, we'll move on quickly from the result last night. So that's not something I think many of us want to, uh, want to talk about, but congratulations. <laughs> Yeah. And um, look, Marco uh, is also here with us. So Marco um, has had many achievements uh, in his lead up to ICMS as a current ICMS student. Uh, he was house captain at the King School, uh, has received the Gold Duke of Edinburgh Award, which is a fantastic achievement uh, in its own right. Um, and more, more recently has been a recipient of an ICMS professional scholarship and is now an ICMS um, student ambassador, uh, which is a fantastic program, which I'm sure Marco can talk to more uh, in the coming presentation. Um, and importantly, he is now working uh, at the NRL HQ for his internship as part of his work integrated learning uh, as part of his ICMS uh, sports management degree program. So Marco, thank you for joining us today as well. It's great to have you here. Thanks for, thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Uh, look, I'm going to uh, get straight into it. And this is a very exciting degree, one of our most popular and uh, most uh, favourite degrees across all of our student body here, uh, the sports management degree. So, uh, Dr. Clark, I would love to uh, hand over you to, to take over and explain to us all about this program. Brilliant. Thanks, Phil. It is a pleasure to be here today. Um, as you've said, Bachelor of Sports Management. So, and I know that uh, the students that are here are really excited about this degree. It's um, uh, so much to look forward to and so much to enjoy while you're actually here studying at ICMS. But anyway, welcome here to our online uh, open day today. It's, it is a pleasure to be here. Today's session, I, I will talk about the Bachelor of Business Sports Management, but really what I want to do is actually talk about you, because really it is about you today, um, providing those options and choices. I hope you learn something from today and I, you know, we're here to help you and, and assist you in any way and we can answer all your questions. Well, certainly Phil can, because he is actually a graduate of this particular degree. So it is a fantastic achievement of yours, Phil. And I certainly do welcome you all to, today to this open day. So why am I actually talking to you? You may ask. It is the reason that the degree that uh, Bachelor of Sports Management is a passion of mine. Now, Phil's already read out all these wonderful details that, of days gone by and you know, I really enjoyed my time uh, playing rugby league overseas. Um, it's actually 37 years and counting now. I've actually been involved in sport. I've made my whole career based around sport. I've never really actually had a proper job because I've only ever done sport or education. So, you know, if you dedicate yourself and you're passionate about what you do, you can make a career out of sport. It is a fantastic option for you. This is just a couple of little pics of mine and the days gone by. And, and Phil was really kind to say an elite, as a past athlete, those days are long gone. But anyway, I still enjoy uh, being involved in the sport. I still coach sport um, and obviously rugby league is a passion of mine. And it, it's good to hear, you're going to hear about Marco's journey as well. So he's involved in that. Uh, just a little picture on the left there is actually my youngest son. He's currently in the Super League following in my footsteps is now playing for the Wigan Warriors. So he's been over there for about five years now. He's uh, played at Penrith, junior Penrith um, as well. So he's basically living the life um, that I once followed. Now, Phil did mention the, the degrees that I hold, uh, honours degree, master's degree and a PhD. Look, 
they're all well and good. These are things that you can attain and over your career. All you've got to do is just dedicate yourself. Be really passionate. Be curious about what you're doing. Uh, try and, you know, you, you really want to get something that you're passionate so you understand the questions you ask are going to lead you down a certain pathway. And that's what education is all about. Alrighty, so let's move along. As I said, it is about you. What actually drives you? What actually brings you into this uh, realm of sport? Well, here's a good example. Zoe Grout is a graduate of the sport management degree. Uh, she spent her internship at the Manly Warringah Sea Eagles. Now, if you follow Manly, you would have seen last night. Unfortunately, they went down. But, hey, that's life and that's sport. Um, Zoe's actually now full-time. She works as a uh, admin officer at the Surf, New South, Surf Life Saving New South Wales. So she's actually transitioned from a career, from an educational career now into a professional career. And uh, as I said, she's actually working in sport. So she's flying the flag. Now, I know she really had enjoyed her time at Manly. And she had some really good feedback because I've got a, a few friends of mine that actually work down there. So it, it, it is a good transitional link between the educational pathway to a professional pathway. So what is it about your future career that's actually going to make you come to ICNS and enjoy the, the fruits of your labour? What will drive you? Well, I'll tell you, here's one thing. You need to be into sport. You really do need to have a passion for sport. It's something that's going to um, make you curious to, to try and answer the questions, as I said previously. It may be because someone someone you know close to you is actually um, maybe an idol of yours. You maybe you have a sports a sports star that you follow. Uh, you may have already had this from a, a very young age, but at some, some stage in your life, you're going to have wanted to be involved in sport. Now, the old adage that you went to school to play sport, I guess that might ring true. And it may have been the case in young Phil's case. But anyway, hopefully you have that passion for sport and you want to answer some of these questions, here are some of the options that you may find in your career. You know, event, um, sponsorship manager, facility manager, team manager, a high performance manager, maybe even a sports agent. They're all potential options for your career. So let's get into the hard part. What's the study all about? Coming to tertiary education is not a simple task you actually have to put in some real hard yards to gain the benefits. Now, I studied for six years in the UK. I was fortunate enough to be playing professional rugby league at the same time. And I was also raising a family 10,000 kilometres away. So, you know, you've got to make an effort. You've really got to put in some hard yards to, to reap those rewards. But anyway, there we are, situated in the castle on the hill here in Manly, which is an outstanding um, facility. We've also got a little campus there tucked away over there in the city, uh, which is right next to the uh, central station, so really handy. These are our locations. The options for all of our study, we can do online, face-to-face, -face, blended synchronous uh, delivery. So what are you going to do when you get here? You're going to enroll in a number of different subjects across three years. You know, our normal load is you do four subjects per trimester being three trimesters per year. Some students like to, will do the full load. Some might do a lesser load. That's okay. We can tailor these loads to your, to suit you, okay? So it's really about, as I said, you, what your choices are. But we will be there to support you every bit of the way. Why, why ICMS, you may ask? Here's an example of, how we've designed this course and what makes us so uh, particular. All of our subjects in our brand new degrees that we currently offer, they were all designed using the backward design course, uh, backward design model. So what that means is we, we go to industry. Industry give us information and inform us what it is our graduates are going to need when they finish their studies. How useful are these students going to be in the industry? So we design our assessments based around what the industry needs are going to be, all right? So all the subjects you'll complete are industry relevant. That makes them really useful for when you really get out into the big wide world. But also during your time here when you do your work industry placements, which are coming up. 
These are formative assessments, summative assessments. All these types build knowledge, yep. Not only do they build knowledge, they're building that career experience for you so that by the time you have um, gone through the three years of study, you've built up a portfolio of knowledge in different types of assessments. They could be quizzes, could be uh, uh, practical demonstrations, it could be full-blown video presentations. You could be um, putting up a full mock uh, business uh, proposals. So these are all part of what we are hoping our students will bring, uh, gain through learning. The next slide is graduate capabilities. So these are actually takeaway really useful skills and tools that will uh, be really advantageous for you in the industry. So here are the grade caps. There are seven types of graduate capabilities that we build. This is all happening while you are studying and also getting your practical experience. As an example there, you will be a skilled collaborator. You will learn how to be agile in your leadership. Okay, you will actually have to have technology skills built in, which are built into the subjects and making sure that you can problem solve, be a critical thinker. These are the capabilities that we that are built into your subjects as you go throughout your three years of study. What's the benefit of all this? One of our major mottos here at ICMS is we build students that are career focused, i.e. they are going to be useful in the industry when they complete their degree. Yep. It could be that they are ready for the industry of an occupation and sport, or they could actually build their own business. But a great benefit of ICMS and their work in degraded learning is that the last 2018 survey we had, 90% of our students are employed in their field and they're not after before graduation. So that's pretty awesome stuff. That's what we are. Uh, advocating here at ICMS. So what do we do here? What are these subjects that I talk about a lot and how beneficial are they going to be to you? Well, here's some examples of what you will do. You will do marketing, you will do management, you will do financial, you will do all these data-driven informed decisions that you will have to make in your career in sport. These are examples of the things that you will do as part of your sport business degree. More. So all these things are going to be useful for you. And as an example, your first trimester, four subjects, starts out with the pathway to success, which is the building block for the whole of the ICMS degree, okay? So it's, it's a fun time, but you still have to do some hard work. Here's an example, young Telly. So Telly is, a, is an ex-recent graduate of the sports management degree. He also... Um, works in sport full-time now. He went out as an ICMS uh, internship with the Rabbitohs. Now he's full-time in the Active Accounts uh, Executive Partnerships degree, um, Department. So Telly also plays regularly for the South um, Junior Grade. So it's really good to see him taking on board skills he's learned into the industry. There you go. There's those work integrated learning. I know there are different modules that are going to take, uh, take you through those. So just an example, those are very, very important for ICMS and for you. These are some of the electives you'll do in your final year. Great choices. Look at that, biomixology, gastronomy, food and beverage. Now, these are all examples you can take in your second year as, a, as electives for your degree. So it doesn't have to be necessarily all of your sport. There are lots of options for you. As you probably realise by now, you need to look the part to be the part here at ICMS. So we live and breathe our professional um, attire. It's, it's something that we uh, swear by as, you know, if you want to be the part, you've got to look the part. And that's how the senior management feel so strongly about it. And our students really buy into it. So it's, it's a real uh, niche for ICMS. As I said previously about the work administrative learning, the experience you're going to gain, there are lots and lots of options for you and you will be pleasantly surprised some of the some of the places you can actually go and do your internships with again we're getting to the point here, here third year so you're looking at different subjects um, there are core two core subjects and you need to make choices between two specializations and two electives so 
plenty of choices. And the examples here, there are sport, there are business, there are tourism, hospitality, so many different choices. You need to make your choice between those two extra electors on top of your specialisations. So it'll be great for you. How do you apply? Well, my suggestion is you jump on and talk back to these guys here because Phil and his recruitment team do a fantastic job here at ICMS and they have all the options for you and I know Phil will provide that detailed information for you. So plenty of options on how you can actually join here at ICMS. Look, this picture doesn't need any words. This is who we are and where we are, okay? So you just got to live it. Alrighty, so I'm getting to the end here. So these are all our different degrees. Um, we are a, a, a breadth of different options here for you. And I know you're looking specifically at the Bachelor of Business Sports Management. Well, I certainly hope so. It's a great career. And it's one that you will, will not regret because as I said, mine is 37 years and counting, probably way older than young Phil. So if you've got any more questions, please feel free to ask. And I know Phil's gonna provide a lot more detailed information as I said, I hope it has made something for you to think about. Thank you. Fantastic, Dr. Clark. Thank you very much for that, uh, that presentation. You can clearly see that your passion for the sports industry uh, has run right through everything uh, here on a day-to-day -day basis from all the subjects you mentioned through to your, um, your daily leadership uh, of all the lecturers and academics uh, in this space. So yeah, thank you very much for that, um, that inspiring presentation. You're welcome, man. So guys, those of you who are watching online at the moment, just uh, so you know, you can actually ask questions as we go. There is a question button uh, for you to ask questions. So jump online and we can get to those um, shortly after Marco uh, gives us a slight update uh, on his student experience and we'll get to a Q&A um, right after Marco. So with that, I would look, I'd love to hand over to Marco uh, right now to give us a bit of a, an insight into what it's like to be a sports management student here at ICMS. So Marco, over to you, mate. Andrew, thanks, Phil. Um, just a quick um, intro, guys. My name is Marco, as um, Phil mentioned. Um, I'm a current student at ICMS studying, my, uh, studying a Bachelor of Business in Sport Management. I've just finished my second trimester, so relating to school, it's about two terms worth. But um, I've loved my time here so far. And just before I start my, how I got into ICMS, I absolutely love sport. And um, like Phil and Dr. Trevor Clark mentioned, you've got to have that passion. And ever since a young age, my family and my friends have instilled that love for sport for me, in particular rugby league and union, and also cricket. Um, I'm not necessarily the best athlete, but I do have a very strong passion for it. I'm a referee um, in both rugby league and union and um, to one day work in an upper management position in sport is a dream of mine. So um, I'll get into my story. I, I graduated from Kings um, in Parramatta last year um, in what was a different year, but I absolutely loved my time at school. Um, and like I said, I try to get myself involved in sport as much as I could, as well as co-curricular activities with leadership and community styled um, activities. So I try to keep involved in that. But I did struggle academically and um, especially last year, um, I, don't, I have OCD anxiety, so I struggled to um, complete my exams. But um, with the help of school, I was able to have extensions on my, my time on my exams and be able to sit out um, in a different room and complete my exams. And although I finished out only two out of six of my exams, I, um, I didn't want to do it again thinking going into uni. But um, I never forget my parents and my school pushed me to just keep my options open, um, to give it a go and you never know what it could lead to. So I never forget, I just typed up something combining my passion for sport and business. And I saw the, the main courses that uni's offered. So like Western Sydney, but I, I saw um, ICMS and I'd actually never heard of it before. And the more I looked into it, the more I thought it was a, it was too good to be true, to be honest with you. I had no idea what it was. And the more I looked into it, I, I just thought that it wasn't even going to be for me, but I looked into my career advisor, Mr. Attard at school. And he let me know that old Kings boys had actually gone there and received scholarships and it just gave me that incentive to put my name in the ring. And um, the more I looked into it, I just thought if it wasn't for ICMS, I probably wouldn't be at uni, to be honest. So um, when I did get in there, um, I, I never forget, I spoke to um, Phil, who you, you guys have met today. Um, he took me for a tour around ICMS and I was taken away um, by the amazing views in the classroom and facilities. And, um, I just, and for me to realise, looking back at that, that was only the tip of the iceberg for the ICMS experience. So I was able to, I, I, I was really worried about exams, thinking there'd be school over again and, I didn't really want to do that, but I'll never forget the quote that Phil told me that an employer will never sit you down in a room with just a pen and paper with no resources or anything like that. Um, and that's just that with no resource and just you have three hours to complete it. So ICMS just takes that approach that they're preparing you for the workplace. And that's, this is why I couldn't look any further than this amazing college. And 
Um, looking back, and it's probably the best decision I've ever made looking into this place and um, being where I am today. And I've made amazing friends. Um, the classrooms are really small, so I've met people from all around Sydney and all around Australia, even around the world during this time. Um, it's been unbelievable to develop such strong friendships and which will lead into my alumni in the long term. Um, and I've also, for example, like Phil mentioned, I'm working in NRL at the moment as an intern where I'm working in football operations and participation in community. And a perfect example of where I've applied what I've learned in the classroom into the workplace has been with my statistics class, where I use, where we use Excel functions to, uh, I've correlated data from participation in, um, in, in New South Wales and Queensland for both males and females and have, have I made a report and then have sent that off to my manager, which has then gone to the Sydney Morning Herald. So it's a, it, ICMS prepares you not only for the theoretical side, but you graduate with after nine months of experience, um, a degree as well as a, a, um, invaluable friendship. So if I could mention one thing to all of you guys, I definitely put your name in the ring. Um, and also like Phil mentioned as well, like I said, um, there, there's also a student success center here. Um, so we have Val who's ahead of it. She's outstanding. Each and every one of her students who um, does struggle and it's, it's completely fine to struggle. Um, the most important thing is to reach out and I, I'm so happy I did that. Um, Val's helped me each step of the way, whether it be for um, getting extensions on my assessments or extra time on my exams or just being there for a chat. Um, it's just been really good to reach out to her and all the friendly staff at ICMS have helped me significantly. Um, and now I'm able to have the honour of being a student ambassador where I'm able to go to expos and talk to students about my story and um, why I believe that they should do the same thing. Because um, this time last year, I didn't want to go and to see people going through the HSC and to, um, to finish it up and not sure what they want to do, just to give them that guidance is just giving back to what um, everyone's done for me. So if I have one bit of advice for you all, put your name in the ring, whether it be for scholarships, early entry, school recommendation scheme, elite athlete, performing arts, you name it, ISMIS accommodates for all. And they refer to you as name rather than number. They make sure that you have a unique experience. And um, I'm really thankful that I kept my options open and I put my name in the ring and um, I am where I am today, thanks to that. So. Um, if you have any questions at all, I'm more than happy to answer them, but I really appreciate your time today and hopefully I can see some of you guys in the castle in the near future. Thank you. Fantastic, Marco. Look, that's really insightful and a quite an inspiring story. And uh, obviously, you not uh, you haven't finished your degree yet, so to have all those experiences and insight already, look, I mean, that's, that's fantastic. So congratulations, mate. Well done. So um, Marco and, and Dr. Clark, we have a few questions coming through here uh, on the chat, which I'll, I'm going to sort of send through to you guys now if we can uh, answer them. And, and guys, if we don't get to all of them, uh, you can jump on live chat uh, to, to be followed up on uh, after this session. So we'll get, we'll get through a couple now. We have uh, about eight minutes left uh, on this session. So um, Dr. Clark, one for you. And look, maybe um, I know these slides were early on in your presentation. So maybe these, these guys joined a little bit late, but um, and as, uh, Jason, Andrew, Robbie, uh, Rob uh, have asked a very similar question uh, to each other. Um, they've said, what will my career look like if I pick this degree in the sports industry? So I'll, I'll hand over to you and I might even jump in with my own career uh, post your response as well. Yeah, the beauty of this degree, the core of it is actually in business. So you, we build the degree around a business core. So you're going to come out with lots of business skills, which are applicable across lots of different industries, but you will specialize uh, in, in sport. So it's great to hear what Marco's story was because he's utilising those skills within a sport context. The beauty of it, though, if you do have a passion for sport, you actually find it a lot easier to engage and utilise and, and, and learn knowledge around something that you're passionate about. But just know that that core, core of, of, of all of our um, named degrees, Bachelor of Business, is, is really important. That's a really important aspect that, that will take you further. Yeah, definitely. And, and I suppose by way of my background, which I know, Dr. Clark, you, you're you aware of, it's, um, I did the sports degree here and I went and worked um, actually just prior to graduation. ICMS lined me up with my job uh, at Football Federation of Australia before finishing here. And um, I spent about six years uh, working at FFA of various roles. I was uh, part of the team management of Socceroos, of the Socceroos, sorry, uh, for a couple of years there in the Asian Cup when we won back in 2015. So uh, that's one career path. I was in the football operations division, similar to it sounds like what Marco was doing uh, at the NRL um, as well. I was part of the AFC Champions League uh, division. So I traveled around Asia uh, running uh, matches, which were broadcast to uh, over 1.5 billion people around the world. So um, yeah, it's a pretty interesting career to get into. So um, yeah, I, I echo your, your sentiment that uh, this is a, a business 
this is a business you're getting into. Sport is a multi-billion dollar industry and uh, you need people who have business and sporting skills to, to make it work. So um, yeah, I fully agree with what you said. Thank you. Um, Marco, I would suggest that this question is probably uh, best placed for you um, because it's a student focused question. Um, it says, what do you enjoy most about going to class uh, each and every day? Um, I know uh, you've uh, had quite a different experience this year during COVID, but uh, you nonetheless, I've seen you around campus and you've uh, obviously got quite a close group of friends, which you've made here at ISUMF. So I don't know if you want to give some insight into what it's like being a student here um, you know, more day to day. Yeah, of course. Um, it's like I mentioned, I live in Parramatta. So it's quite a drive, but I'm telling you, it's worth every minute of peak hour traffic going into Manly. I've absolutely lo I love going in and being in class. It's just it's a different experience, and that it's just when you go into the through the gates, you just it's a completely different experience. It's hard to explain, but like I, like Phil mentioned, I've a very strong um, strong friendship group, and I'm able to go in and do co curricular activities as well. So um, I can be I'm in the ICS football um, touch footy team uh, where we we're going to go to the finals, but COVID halted our momentum. But I'm sure we'll get back into it when that happens. But um, I, you're able to do um, community things so you can get into your own social groups and um, you can put forward to the student experience team and they'll be more than happy to create those for you. Um, when you, when you do have classes, you have industry led lecturers that are willing to stay back, ask and ask some questions and they know you by name and you're able to talk to them whenever you need. Um, like I also said with the student, with the, um, student success center, we also have, um, Val and the library, the library pilot center is outstanding to, to study, stay back and research. And there's also an amazing option for you to actually live in the castle. So you can stay on campus um, and it's literally, you can go, you go five minute walk to the beach, to the restaurants, the shops. It's, uh, it's a very unique and special experience to, when you go into that campus. So I've loved it. Yeah. Fantastic. Sounds like you've, uh, sounds like you know a few people who have done that. So uh, yeah, that's great to hear. Um, Dr. Clark, we have, a, have had a couple of questions come through, um, I suppose, around the, the lecturer side um, of what we do here at ICMS. So um, the questions kind of have the angle of, you know, are our lecturers, um, you know, purely academic or are they in industry? Are they like, what, what kind of, what's the makeup of our lecturer uh, group? Yeah, no, that's, a, that's a really good question. And this is something that ICMS is really focused on as well. We have industry leading uh, staff, industry, industry engaged staff as well. So, our longest serving lecturer at ICMS, she, she's been here longer than anybody combined. 22, she's going into her 22nd year of delivering lectures into the sports degree. Um, so, she, she would have taught you, Phil. Yep. Um, uh, just an example. So, she's also uh, this particular lecturer. She lives locally. She's an icon on the, on the northern beaches. She's, she's a TV. TV star as well, so she, she uh, presents on nutrition, but she also has a, such a deep background in sport that um, she's able to deliver a, a number of different subjects. But across the board, the, the sport uh, lecturers um, definitely provide that engagement because they've come from a background of involvement in sport. Um, I think I might even taught you one lecture this, this uh, semester, Marco, um, in the athlete representation. So. The idea that um, our, our lecturers are, are engaged, have been involved, have prior history, have, have academic uh, background as well. They, they need to have that academic background, but um, they are definitely more than anything just as passionate about sport as you guys are. So that's the, that's the bonus as well. Yeah, fantastic. That, that's, that's great to hear. And I think Marco would concur with that feeling that he's, the lecturers that he's had so far have been very passionate for what they've taught uh, in, in and out of the classroom. Is that, you would agree with that, Marco? 100%. Yeah, they've been outstanding. They've helped me a lot. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. Well, guys, that's, that, that's pretty much our time um, all wrapped up. So um, I know, Dr. Clark, you mentioned uh, sort of the entry pathway. So I'm just going to quickly cover that off just because there's a couple of questions around that. Um, so for those of you watching um, online at the moment, uh, the primary options for you at the moment for entry for a year 12 student um, is uh, alternate entry. And the most common form of that is early entry. So I would strongly suggest uh, getting uh, your application in for early entry. It does close on the 8th of September. Now, we are fully aware that COVID is throwing trials around and schools are are reacting just as much as everyone else. Um, so please don't stress about trials this year. We, we know uh, we'll have to provide flexibility uh, in those uh, assessments and also we'll use your previous year 12 and year 11 marks if needed 
to assess your, your suitability uh, as required. So um, the important part is you get your application in. Um, the second part is UAC. So the UAC preference system is currently open um, until the 30th of September. That's when the, the first big cutoff is. Um, now, ICMS needs to be listed number one in UAC because um, of our class size, because of the demand we have, we often don't get below our first preference in UAC. So um, I'd hate for someone to miss out on getting an offer simply because they didn't update their preferences. Um, and remember, this year 12 cohort that's graduating is the biggest year 12 we've had uh, in a couple of years. So uh, the demand will be bigger than normal. So please make sure you update your preferences preferences. If you have an account already, um, then you need to make sure uh, you jump in on the 12th of August. It's closed until the 12th. But if you don't have an account and you just haven't got around to it yet, uh, you can jump in now and make a UAC uh, account and just make sure ICMS is listed number one um, so you can hopefully receive an offer uh, in the main round. Um, Dr. Clark, was that a, a little handout from you or were you saying number one as well? Yeah, look, look what a, yeah, it's both, it's a bit of both really, Phil. But what I would say, just to reiterate, and it's something that Marco really um, highlighted as well, just to thinking about year 12s. There's one thing about ICMS what we've done within our subject. We don't have exams, okay? Most of our, most of our subjects, um, final final assessment tasks, we don't have exams. So uh, case studies, there's all different written assessments, there are even presentations. So the academic, academic rigor around our, our programs is, is so, so stringent, but we do it without exams. So there you go. Don't there you go. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, that's a really good insight. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Clark. I appreciate you uh, you pointing that out. So, look, Dr. Clark and, and Marco, look, we both, uh, well, I personally really appreciate your time uh, on a Sunday, and I'm sure everyone online uh, does as well, but you both have had critical insight and, and experience, uh, Dr. Clark, in this, this sector, and you lead um, a high-performing academic team here at ICMS, and, and Marco, you're experiencing it firsthand, so your, your point of view is really critical to students who are looking to start uh, with us, particularly in February. So I thank you both for your time, and uh, thank you for your, your wise and kind words. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Marco. Really All right, guys. Well, that wraps up our Bachelor uh, of Business Sports Management uh, seminar today. So the key critical things for you, uh, the next steps are add your early entry applications into the system, update your UAC preferences, and you can jump on live chat now to ask any uh, more burning and pressing questions that you may have just thought of. Uh, we're here for you online uh, for the next uh, 24 hours, uh, particularly while we, uh, we get everything sorted for you. So thank you for joining us today at Open, uh, Open Day 2021. Uh, I look forward to seeing you here next year. And thank you for joining us uh, in this virtual format. Thank you.